Merry Christmas and welcome to Derwent Harps. Today I'm going to teach you how to play a very simple version of Sea Amid the Winter's Snow. We're working on from where we were with our Good King Wenceslas yesterday. We're still using just our second finger but we've got more complex rhythms in the right hand and in the left hand we've got a few extra notes. So let me take you through it. You're going to start with your second finger of your right hand on the second C up on your Discovery 16 and your left hand on the C at the bottom. And the first bar goes C, D, C, D. I'll do that one more time. C, D, C, B. Now you'll notice that you've got more complex rhythms this time as well. You've got a dot after that first note. A dot after a note makes it half of its own value again longer. So if you're counting this bar, you're going to say one, two, and three, four. And that dotted rhythm comes in a lot in this piece, so we'll do it one more time. One, two, and three, four. Now the reason I'm counting to four is that the start of your piece, see amid the winter snow, is in four over four time. The top number tells us how many beats are in each bar, so that's four beats. And the bottom number tells us what sort. A four on the bottom means we're counting in crotchets. That's crotchets, a one beat note. I'll do it one more time. One, two, and three, four. The next bar starts on A. A is the middle of the group of the white notes. And it goes A, G, G. And in your left hand, you've got an F. A, G, G. And it's the same rhythm. One, two, and three, four. When I teach this to the little kids, I always say one, two, and minim. Because that last note of the bar is a minim. We're back to two C's for the next bar, and we go C, D, F, E, straight rhythm. We'll do it one more time. C, D, F, E, and then the next bar, one, two, and minim. Same rhythm again, different notes. E, D, D. The next bar is the same as the first and this is a tool that composers use a lot so you can always look for patterns in your music one two and three four and the next bar is the same as the second bar one two and three four new phrase c and c again c d g in the left with e in the right e f we'll do that phrase again C, D, G in the left, E, F. And you've seen this phrase before, but with different notes. And that's called a sequence. D, C, C. I'll do that bar again and count the rhythm for you. One, two, and minim. Up to top G. One, two, and three. Interesting because if you look at your music, the first two notes are the same in the right hand, and then it's just line, space, line, space, line. And if they're going line, space, line, space, line, space, line, they're right next door to each other on the music. So that means they're going to be right next door to each other on the harp. And you'll be pleased to know. The next two bars are exactly the same. One, two, and three, four. Line, space, line. Same as the beginning. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Here's our big finish. Up to top G and down the tonic triad. One, two, and three. 
Tonic triads are always next door but one neighbours. They come up a lot in music. The tonic is the first and last note of a scale and it's always the bottom note of a triad and triad means group of three. One, two and three, back to F, four and then line, space, line, space, space, line, space. And it has to finish on C because we're in the key of C and pieces generally will start and finish on the tonic note at this stage in our education. So I'm going to play it one more time and shout out the notes and you can play it along with me. One, two, ready, go. C, D, C, B, A, G, G. C, D, F, E, E, D, D. Christmas and a Happy New Year.